Hi, I'm Sasha Parkinson and today I'm going to be reading a poem called Evening by Dorian Lux. Moonlight pours down without mercy, no matter how many have perished beneath the trees. The river rolls on. There will always be silence. No matter how long someone has wept against the side of a house, bare forearms pressed to the shingles, everything ends. Even pain, even sorrow. The swans drift on. Reeds bear the weight of their feathery heads. Pebbles grow smaller, smoother beneath night's rough currents. We walk long distances, carting our bags, our packages, burdens or gifts. We know the land is disappearing beneath the sea. Islands swallowed like prehistoric fish. We know we are doomed, done for, damned. And still the light reaches us, falls on our shoulders even now. Even here where the moon is hidden from us, even though the stars are so far away. Thank you. This one day holds a very, very special place in my heart. And every time that I'm ever so kindly invited to participate in the day, I feel so honored. Um, and especially, especially for Climate Action Live, because the sad thing is, every country on every continent is now affected by climate change and it is so important that we start making drastic changes to protect our planet um, and while we can all play our part individually and you know implement changes into our own lives there is nothing more powerful than everyone coming together and joining forces um, and days like today, they, they really help to spread the message far and wide, further than you and I could ever do on our own. And I always leave um, Climate Action Live feeling a huge amount of hope and determination and completely inspired by all the voices of, of those who participate in the day. I think storytelling is a fantastic tool and it can massively impact um, the creation of a more sustainable world and it's one of the reasons I love what I do so much and I've, I know I've said this before but it's because you know um, storytelling it, it, it really gives us the power to expose audiences to really important issues that ordinarily they may never have, have, have thought much about before and it gives us the opportunity to inform by using emotion as opposed to, uh, you know, facts and, and figures, things that people might not be able to understand and find it difficult to really uh, relate to that. Because ultimately, I think storytelling, you know, it's about emotional connections and it's because of those emotional connections that they're the things then that can potentially um, reshape the way people think about things and they're the, the emotional connections are what can inspire and, and motivate people to really make a change. I think we should start by firstly both apologising um, and also thanking the next generation for the amount of work and dedication that it's going to take to continue trying to rectify the situation that we find ourselves in. Um, mm. But if there is one thing that I've, I've, I've learned from my involvement with Peace One Day over the past couple of years is of the immense power, the immense power that the younger generation have within them. Um, your voices and your actions um, are going to play such a pivotal role in making a change. Um, so I think, I don't know, all I can say is make sure your voices are heard. Uh, 
make better choices than those who came before you and know that you deserve a better life and a better world to live in. So just go and get it. Um, and I, I, I wholeheartedly believe in your ability to learn from the years and years of generational mistakes and use that knowledge to fight for a better future. And good luck. <laughs>